So we definitely think at Meta that the metaverse as such is the next uh, generation of internet, the next generation of computing platforms. It's the third big wave that we see. If you think of it, um, in the early 90s, people talked about the information highway. It was really when the internet was emerging. Many of you remember it. Some of you may be more from stories. And it was a one-way information stream where all of a sudden everyone could access information on the World Wide Web, no matter where they were. And it was this huge new space that was created. Second wave was definitely the mobile internet. Key technologies were 3G that just enabled all of a sudden through a mobile uh, a device to access pictures, to access uh, um, platforms like Facebook, YouTube, banking apps, etc., etc. So, and the iPhone and that stuff, or in general, generally speaking, um, smartphones were really important technology. So we think that the next generation of the internet will be 3D enabled, will give you this feeling of real presence. And that's going to be the defining quality. And I think a lot has been said already before, Marta mentioned a few things. So indeed, what we see today is the emergence of the metaverse is the early kind of um, um, pieces that we see of it. The full potential, we believe, will only be ready in the next 10 to 15 years. We think that roughly in 10 years, one billion people will access the metaverse. And the one thing I would like to as well say, for what the metaverse is not for us, is the Oculus device or any VR uh, headset. And I'm very happy that Apple is announcing as well a headset. I'm quite excited actually about that one. So I often like to talk about it in a way that imagine trying to explain a mobile banking experience with UBS, with Credit Suisse, whoever you use, today on an iPhone 12 with an email enabled or SMS enabled Nokia or a Blackberry uh, 15 years ago. How would you explain that? Similarly, I think today, uh, what a VR device can give you is just a glimpse of the opportunities that are there. And going back to the presentation, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at, at you again, Christoph, this defining quality, this feeling of real presence, that will really be the next disruption. So what I think personally, that's my uh, um, assessment, is that we see a lot of hype in the space today, a lot of people talk about it, and rightly so, because it's definitely emerging, exciting technology with a lot of opportunities. Personally, I believe in the current debate, the short-term opportunities are overstated, but the long-term opportunities in the next 10 years are massively understated. It's definitely the next generation of disruption that's coming for us that will disrupt a lot of businesses. We'll see a lot of emerging businesses. We'll see retail commerce changing from today, what is e-commerce, an internet where you look at the space, where you maybe through images put something into your basket size and order. Uh, to an e-commerce, immersive commerce, uh, um, D2, uh, direct to avatar business will emerge where you start selling digital goods for your personal avatars. Banking will be reimagined, just like banking from a branch to uh, mobile banking was reimagined, etc., etc. I think, Marta, I really like your use cases about how it will completely change medicine. You might have virtual doctor appointments with an avatar that is there with this feeling of presence through a photorealistic avatar advising you things. Um, definitely there might be doctors even being able to be in a virtual um, um, operations room advising another doctor on how to run an operation, etc., etc. I think these are just some of the use cases that we see and um, a bit of a long answer, but I hope it gave a bit of a glimpse to how basically we at Meta think about it. And again, I, I think this is very much broadly shared in the community and this this feeling of presence that is here on the slide as well with the key technology real-time 3D that uh, guys like Unreal Engine at Unity or uh, at Fortnite um, um, are developing, or, uh, et cetera, will yes. be very important. I think everybody benefits if, move, if things are moving fast and everything and all these use cases emerge. I think you brought us a couple of best practice examples, right? 